que l'amitié, que la certitude de servir en commun, les mêmes idéaux de liberté et de justice, amènent aujourd'hui le gouvernement britannique et le gouvernement français à lier par écrit leur destin en commun avec tous les peuples épris de justice et de paix pour 50 ans ce qui est l'éternité des gouvernements et ce qui pour nous signifie toujours. I cannot refrain from referring to this city of Dunkirk. <coughs> Obviously, to those of us who were members of the coalition cabinet and responsible for the conduct of the war in Great Britain at that time, there arises in one's mind very vivid memory, which I think history, with our great culture, with our great contribution to civilization, and if I may say so without ego at all, our capacity for leadership and contribution will help to make this world, and it's very gratifying to know that the Entente Cordiale, which was signed many years ago at the turn of the century, safe tape for a great development for centuries to come. Yeah. <laughs> Never really been broken between our two countries. In fact, it can be said that that treaty of those days have been confirmed in blood in two great wars. I confess that between those wars, between the two great wars, misunderstandings might have arisen, which allowed the resurgence of an aggressive Germany. 